With lockdown two upon us, we need to stay as healthy as possible and drinking enough water is clearly a great start. I have Nick Swan here, who's the Managing Director of Love Water, based very near to Susie Radio in Hookwood in Surrey. Good afternoon, Nick. Good afternoon, Jeff. So how did Love Water come to be? Um, well, um, I had spent many years in the water industry, uh, Jeff, working in the States and Middle East. And after selling the pre- my previous business, my London water dispenser business in 1994, I just wanted to change routes and do something completely different. After a few months of taking a break and having a good think about the future, sadly, it seemed that the water industry was still my first love. So I set about starting all over again. And uh, I just wanted to start a supply for business and for homes. I wanted something, a nice casual name, laid back name. And that's how Love Water came about. You seem to have a great sounding business uh, name that conjures up the thought of a big company or franchise business. But actually, in fact, I found out you, you're a small, perfectly formed business with just 19 employees specialising in everything drinking water. Is that right, Nick? Yeah, that, that's right, Jeff. We, uh, it really says it on the t- tin, doesn't it, uh, what our business is? Um, everything regarding drinking water. So COVID-19, second lockdown, how are you coping with it? Oh, well... Just like so many service providing businesses that rely on commercial clients, when COVID hit and the first lockdown started, probably about 90% of our B2B customers stopped trading in an instance. So we went from serving around 800 commercial customers to serving about 40. Um, Over the last six months or so, our commercial business had started picking up from the dark days of March but we're still way below the activity that we should be. And now there's second lockdown, which is terrible news for us and many of our customers. You know, it's, it's starting to battle again through this next period. I mean, we, already we've seen so many of our clients go bust during the coronavirus period, which is so sad. So what are the health benefits then of drinking lots of water, particularly at this time when we might be suffering from this dreadful virus? Yes, so to get on the positive side, uh, during this terrible COVID time, everyone is trying to live more healthily. And water obviously plays a big part in that. Drinking lots of water is essential, really, for keeping the body and mind fully hydrated. If you're fully hydrated, it can help with energy levels, improve memory and concentration. And a reduction of physical and mental performance can be the result of not drinking enough plain, ordinary water. So, of course, good hydration is good for the skin, And constant dehydration is terrible for skin uh, quality. Drinking water is so important for health. Of course it is. And of course, during this crisis, everyone's been impacted badly, businesses, small businesses and charities. I understand that Love Water's connected in helping charities. Is that right? Yeah, well, we we are connected. We're a very small charity in in, uh, Mitcham called Jigsaw for You that help uh, children that have gone through catastrophic events and We provide water for some of their functions and things like that. And we supply their offices free of charge. But during COVID, we were asked a couple of times, actually, to help out some ICU units. So we were, for example, Chelsea and Westminster Hospital. They had a pop-up intensive care unit. They were desperate for bottled water. So we delivered some water to them, uh, another hospital. And also we set up for a pop-up police station in Chelsea uh, Design Centre. They, they set up a temporary uh, police base and we set up water dispensers to help them during the period. So, yeah, we've, we've reacted to uh, needs out there and done our a small little bit to help out. So you've been helping far and wide, well outside the area as well, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, it just seemed that it was all happening in London. Mm. Uh, we do supply London, but all our inquiries and calls came from yeah the big London hospitals, etc. Nick Swan is the Managing Director of Love Water, based in Hookwood, and we'll be chatting more in just a couple of minutes. Sitting in the morning sun, I'll be sitting when the evening comes. I have with me Nick Swan, who is the Managing Director of Love Water, which is based at Hookwood in Surrey. He's talking to us about water. And what, what type of water do you actually provide with your home water dispensers? Well, it's a very prestigious, exclusive brand. It's uh, Blenheim Palace Natural Mineral Water, Jeff. Uh, it's bottled on the estate of Blenheim Palace, which, as you 
probably know, and many of your listeners will know, is the birthplace of Sir Winston Churchill. It's not available in the shops. You can't buy Blenheim Palace natural mineral water in any of the supermarkets. It's just sold in some of the top restaurants and hotels in London and other parts of the country. It was also just recognised as Britain's best still mineral water, winning gold at the British uh, Bottlers Institute Awards in 2017. So it's a, a quality brand of natural mineral water. What is it that makes the mineral water better than any other? But, you know, I would say, and the, 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 the key to our mini dispenser, and the thing that I always say is that if, if someone's drinking tap water and they're drinking loads of it, then they don't need our service. There's nothing wrong with tap water whatsoever. Where we help is for homes and people that want to drink water and really don't drink enough. And uh, the fact that is a natural mineral water is um, is just a you know, maybe cream on the top sort of thing. It's a quality water. It's made nice and easy to use, cold and ambient from the the, the water dispensers. All our customers just find that they. They, they drink so much more water when they've got a little mini dispenser in their home. Uh, and just, I, I can't help to ask, uh, Jeff, what's your first drink of the day? <laughs> Oops, a uh, cup of tea. <laughs> Always okay. a cup of tea. I, di- I, did, I, I did go to the, um, the recommendation some years ago of, of having a glass of water before breakfast because they say that's a very good thing to do. And I did feel a bit better for it, but trouble is you've got to get into the habit, isn't it? It's, it's, it's not easy getting into the habit of wake up water when you're rushing around getting ready cup of tea slice of toast that's my breakfast well i i know exactly what you mean and i know that when a lot of people wake up the first thing they're thinking i can't wait to have that first cup of tea or first cup of coffee i always say just try even if you put your your fingers over your nose so you can't taste it just try grabbing a glass of water guzzling it down in one go and then having your cup of tea. And at night time, um, just having half a glass, last drink of the night, ha- having it, it really does help the hydration system in the body. I will try and remember that. <laughs> so have you done any, any crazy off-the-wall things uh, during the COVID uh, crisis to promote Love Water? Yeah, well, we, um, uh, we're, always try- we're always trying to do things that are a little bit off the wall and different. And... Uh, I myself got encouraged to do a fitness video that is actually on YouTube um, somewhere. Uh, We've got now 11,000, over 11,000 views of it. It was really fun to do. um, And it's, uh, it just created a nice change from all the (laughs) depressing thoughts of this coronavirus. And actually it's it's, it's been engaged quite well by the the number of people that have viewed it. I don't know, I don't know how you get 11,000 views. You must send us the link. We might put it on our website for you. Finally, um, can I just ask you what our listeners need to do to find out a bit more about Love Water? Okay, Jeff. Uh, well, I mean, we're currently looking for a limited number of homes to try our pro- product um, free of charge and sort of give us feedback on it. Uh, so if any of your li- listeners are interested, Jeff, um, I would say please contact Love Water. Ask for... Um, uh, Normally would ask for Angel or ask for myself, Nick, uh, and uh, we're organising the free trials. We only have a limited number. So- Brilliant. Well, Nick, thank you very much for talking to us this afternoon. I th- think you'd like to choose a nice song to end with today. Well, thank you, Jeff, very much for having me. Um, I think a song that actually signifies all the, the issues that w- we have in the world at the moment um, and trying to overcome them is Bridge Over Troubled Water by Simon and Garfunkel.